So hi, how are you? <laughs> Good, you look awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so thanks so much for taking the time to just, you know, chat a little bit about your experience. I got your, your feedback, question, your, uh, survey, uh, and that was awesome. So I just kind of wanted to touch base with you personally and just hear more about your experience, you know, from, you know, from your, from your mouth a little bit. So uh, first of all, uh, just kind of tell me a little bit what, where you were at before you started the program and what led you to saying yes and signing up? Um, I had um, some years ago gone through a hysterectomy and some other things and had gained a lot of weight all at once. And um, I spent, I think, uh, now probably about eight years at that heavy weight and had tried all kinds of keto diets and, you know, low carb and um, slim, swimming world and a bunch of other things and just never had anything that I could maintain um, or um, lose on any significant weight before I'd just be frustrated and stop. And so I had heard about calorie confidence from my brother-in-law um, who was doing it and absolutely loved it. And I, I, you, you look at the kind of concept, oh, you get on fitness pal and you kind of learn about food and you think, well, I know that. But there's so much more to it because it really made me slowly but surely look at all those um, those things. You know, I might have known what a protein was, or I might have kind of understood what macros are, but I never put them into, um, into you know, uh, every my everyday life, and I definitely, if I had gotten all that information at once, I would not have done it. <laughs> but the way that you get calorie confidence is set up so that you have your week zero, so you really look at what you're actually doing. You then you slowly start looking at each issue and incorporating that into it, and and uh, that that's why I think I was able to stick to it. And I still feel great on it, and I've always felt satisfied with the food that I had. And um, so I, I just have loved the program. And I am, I did a full cut, and then um, I took time off, and now I'm going to go into another cut. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm down 41 pounds as of today. Yeah. And, uh, and I feel great doing it. I don't ever feel like I'm, you know, I can't have anything. And uh, I just know in my head now, I know those facts about macros and about what I should be eating. And if I'm going to do this, then I'm going to make sure the rest of my, you know, and have a little cheat. I'm going to make sure the rest of my day is packed with calories that have low impact, like veggies, fruits, and stuff. And um, make sure I have all my, you know, protein so I'm satisfied. And it just really is a great program. Yeah, that's awesome. And congratulations on the weight loss. That's phenomenal. That's so cool. Uh, and yeah, I I agree with you on the uh, being over or not being overwhelmed part with the way we set it up. Your content just gets released to you week by week by week so that you don't just have all of this massive amount of content at you at once and you just get so overwhelmed, but that just gets released yeah. to you. Uh, so I'm Grateful that you felt like that was a good approach too. We've definitely been sticking to that for a long time now, uh, which is great. So um, what are some of the things that, I mean, you, and you already kind of hit on this a little bit with things that you experienced throughout the program, um, but what were some of like the main, like if you could narrow it down to like three like light bulb moments or just highlight moments throughout your experience, what would that be? Number one, if I probably was my finding what made me feel radiated, you know, like that made me feel um, full and mm -hmm. comfortable, was understanding that you really do need to have a little bit of fat, not a ton, but enough protein so that you have that slow burn all day, and then you can add in those, you know, fruits with uh, heavier carbs in it or... Um, have your piece of bread, you know, like your ham sandwich. And, um, but understanding that if I had those, I would feel better the whole rest of the day if mm -hmm. I had those things like the protein and the, um, and filling yourself up with um, um, like a vegetable that has 
just a huge volume and uh, and for so little calories um, just made a big difference for me. Okay. Um, that was probably my, so using those macros wisely. Um, the other one about the program, like takeaway two, is I would always before look at a diet try and read all the give all the information in my head and then go to it and it's, everything's going to turn out great but you can't you have to build habits mm. and so building habits in this one was mm -hmm. huge mm -hmm. i slowly and surely built those habits and then that's what they are now it's mm -hmm. just how i think now and that's how i go about my day and so it, it, it but it, it wouldn't have worked if i would have tried to just do all of it at once so i built the habit so that's number two and then um Maybe number three was I always had, you know, the positive encouragement of not only you and the side and the group, but um, it's kind of strange to say, but having like just a tool like my fitness pal, and um, I'm going to check in and I'm going to, even if I was thinking of eating something, I kind of check it, check my tool and be like, oh, nope, that one's not for me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, um, you know, or I see online, uh, somebody that made a comment about, oh, I did this the other day, and I blew all my calories, and then I was hungry all night, and that's all learning experiences, and so those were tools and, um, and positive, uh, you know, reinforcers that just kept me on track and the right track. Awesome. So, uh, understanding macros, I'm full, the habits, and then um, having just the tools that we had and the positive reinforcement. Awesome. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, so now as you move forward, uh, you're done with the program, but you're still implementing things and continuing on on your own now. So give us like a, just a snapshot of what that's like and what, you know, you're kind of, how you're taking this with you as you move forward. Yep. Well, um, I have a lot of weight food, so I, you know, I'm, I got halfway to my goal on my first cut, which I'm pretty proud of. And uh, um, kept with it, and then um, took a break. And um, now I'm going to do another cut because I um, I want to lose more, but I feel comfortable with it. I don't feel like I already know I'm not going to be deprived. It's weird even calling it a cut because you know, yes, I'm going to lower my calories, but I'm going to I know I'm going to be perfectly full. I'm going to be mm -hmm. fine doing it. I'm not going to feel like it's a cut. Mm -hmm. So uh, so I'm looking forward to that this summer. Uh, just you know, getting it done and, and getting, you know, closer to my goal weight and then getting back on to a maintenance. And, and maintenance this last time even felt like it was, oh my God, crazy. But I wasn't really. I was <laughs> eating more than I've been used to lately. But um, it was almost mm -hmm. hard to get up to those, that calorie goal. You know? Yeah. So, uh, so, yeah, I actually feel positive about this. I don't feel like I'm. Oh, I have to diet again. Mm -hmm. I just feel like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna adjust those macros, get into this cut, and then get back, get down to where I want to be. That's awesome. Yeah, the maintenance period is is fun in its own way because your calories go up, yet your weight stays the same, or or sometimes it'll even start to drop even more as your metabolism starts to increase, and then you're eating more even though your yeah. your weight's staying down. It's like it's mind blowing, uh, yeah. but that's true weight loss and that's how it's supposed to be your calories should be up as high as you can get them keep calories as high as possible or as long as possible that's the slogan of the program of the company right um and that maintenance period specifically is all about resetting uh, metabolism and resetting all the factors that um kind of decline as you are maintaining a deficit because there's things that happen like um well metabolism slows down naturally uh sometimes it's just the tediousness of being in a cut um uh different energy sometimes energy can start to change and uh, different things like that and that maintenance period is to reset all of those things the big big picture is the metabolism so that your calories get back up as high as you can possibly get them uh and yeah it's a fun phase to be in seeing your weight stay as you eat more and more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's so hard to believe. You know, I talk about it with everyone 
before they get to that point, kind of prep them. And it's so hard to believe until you actually go through it and you experience it yourself. And then you're like, okay, this actually works and this is awesome. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, so awesome. Cool yeah. Uh, I can't say that that cool. Been, uh, just been a life changer for me. Awesome. Well, that is so great to hear. And that's really the big picture, you know, is that this program is helping people and providing value and changing lives uh, in more ways than one. So I'm so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. I'm excited that uh, it wasn't overwhelming and that you've had great success and that, you know, more importantly, that you're able you're able to take all of these tools and continue on your own now. You know, you had the program, but now you get to just continue on your journey, applying what you've learned, and keep crushing your goals. You know, that's that's the big picture. So, uh, again, super proud of you. Thanks so much for uh, being on a call with me. It's great to see you. Uh, and stay in touch. Please stay in touch. You know, keep texting. Uh, give us updates. And uh, yeah, we'd love to keep hearing how things are going. Cool. Great. Thank you so much. All right. Have an awesome rest of your day.